नमस्कार इट्स गुड टू सी यू ऑल आप लोगों के सिर्फ सवाल सुने थे अभी तक बट अब चेहरे भी दिख रहे हैं तो अच्छा लग रहा है आप लोगों को देख के इट इज़ डिफिकल्ट टू फॉलो लक्ष्मण इन स्पीच यू नो बट आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट मैं आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट बाई थैंकिंग दी पीपल हु मेड दिस मिशन पॉसिबल एंड देर आर मल्टीपल लेयर्स टू दिस नॉट जस्ट वन पर्सन आई विल स्टार्ट बाई थैंकिंग द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया for conceiving about this mission and finally making it happen i would like to thank isro for enabling this entire mission the people my colleagues at isro who have uh, worked so hard for successfully executing this mission i would also like to, i i see some faces here the pi is the researchers who have enabled the experiments for the axiom for mission and i would like to thank them for their contribution and their work uh, for this mission i would like to thank you guys uh, for bringing this mission to the uh, population of this country to the common man and making it uh, accessible by everyone to view and in the end i would like to thank each and every citizen of this country who who behaved in a way that they actually owned this mission i really felt that this was a mission for this entire nation so with this i have limited time to share my experience of this past one year i will try my best to cover the salient aspects and thereafter we can follow up in the question and answers this mission the axiom for mission was a, a mission to the international space station uh, so we were flying on top of the falcon 9 vehicle in the crew dragon uh, and to the international space station for a period of 2 weeks and thereafter coming back the launch was from cape canaveral uh, florida and recovery was off the coast of san diego in the pacific ocean crew dragon is one of the three vehicles which can take humans to space as of now and uh, we were fortunate to have the training on the other one uh, the soyuz which goes from russia as well as crew dragon now international space station as you know is is an orbiting laboratory which is been there since 2000 and has been conducting cutting edge science and is actually a perfect example hai ye of uh, uh, marvel of human engineering and human collaboration ka my profile in this mission was as a mission pilot so crew dragon me there there are four seats and i was the mission pilot i had to work with the commander and interact with the systems of the crew dragon basically anything that has to be done with the crew dragon was uh, our responsibility now with this mission profile uh, oh uh, for the two weeks on the iss the work that we had the job that we had was we had to perform the experiments that were conceived developed and realized by the indian researchers and also to perform stem demonstrations and uh, you know just capture photographs photographs and videography uh, to bring it back to you so that was the primary job while we were up on their station to execute this mission profile we were training at various places and uh, it was distributed so we were at nasa uh, european space agency and also we traveled to japan for executing uh, the training for the international space station uh, at the same time we also went to spacex for training on the crew dragon vehicle which was the vehicle on which we were going to travel to space for tra training on the experiments uh, that were prepared by researchers we traveled to various nasa centers the benefit of executing a human space flight mission end to end is more than the training actually the supplementary knowledge that you get just by being there the experience of it the conversations that you have the interaction that you have with people who have had a history of uh, human space flight it is invaluable and i think all of this information uh, that i have been able to collect in the past one year is is going to be extremely useful for us for our own mission the gaganyaan and the bharti antrik station and very soon we shall see somebody traveling up in our capsule from our rocket from our soil in spite of all this training aapne chahe jitni bhi training ki ho lekin uske baad bhi jab aap us rocket pe baithte hain aur jab wo engine ignite hote hain when they catch fire i think it is a very different feeling i had not imagined of how it would feel like and i was actually you know running behind the rocket for the first few seconds i took time to catch up to it from that point of time till the time we splashed down the experience has been unbelievable it has been so exciting and so amazing that i really have been struggling to find words of how do i convey to you so that you live that through my words probably i'll take some more time but uh, the training prepares you very well for the mission but the experience is very different from what you learn on ground 
on orbit when we reached and uh, you would have seen that the body undergoes a lot of changes there are different things that happen to you jab pradhan mantri ji ke sath mera interaction ho raha tha to aap logo ne dekha hoga ki mera sir is samay probably is size dugna tha it was double this size and so bahut sare changes hote hain body mein you don't feel good for the first 3 to 4 days but you still are working and you are interacting with the systems and doing a lot of work but uske baad 3 se 4 din mein hi aapki body used to ho jati hai usko acha lagne lagta hai and you you start performing well and you start uh, feeling okay and everything becomes all right and then when you have spent 20 days aap jab reh chuke hain wahan pe uh, 20 din ke baad when you come back then again the body forgets of how it is to live in gravity and so it again has to readjust and rewire to understand of what it takes to just walk or just hold things or just do things i i i narrated this incident in one of the interviews i think before that uh, i was sitting on my bed and i was holding my laptop and the habit was so ingrained in me that i held my laptop and i left it uh, hoping that it will float but unfortunately we have gravity here so it just fell down and uh, thankfully nothing happened because of the carpet but Uh, that is the kind of rewiring your brain has to undergo uh, you know when you come back when you either you need go up or when you come back the, i i feel that this mission has been extremely successful in terms of a lot of things we have been able to achieve all our technical objectives the uh, aim the objectives that we had laid down because of the effort of a lot of people uh, but there are few takeaways from this mission that i would like to uh, just talk about before i close out and those takeaways are witnessing an execution of a human space flight mission like this gives you a lot of knowledge lot of information and these are intangibles you cannot measure them you cannot just put everything on paper and uh, write it down the experience uh, goes much beyond and much deeper than what you are uh, you know documenting or putting in books so i think that is going to be very valuable for us for our journey of human space flight vision that we are starting i also realize the power of the scientific temper the excitement that i saw in kids the excitement that i saw in people that was there i had three interactions uh, from orbit with the kids one was the live event and then there were two ham radio interactions and in each one of these interaction there was at least one kid who asked how do i become an astronaut and i think that was the biggest win for me from this mission that kids here are already thinking that they want to become an astronaut and the good thing is that we are ready isro is ready india is ready with the rocket with the launchers that we have the capability now that we can make this dream a reality very soon so that was very fascinating for me <coughs> another thing that was very peculiar for me we had a crew which was from different countries from poland hungary india and U united states and the mission itself was being executed by people who were sitting in japan europe germany and, uh, you know us all over the world but all of them are able to come together for one single cause for one single mission and what this conveyed to me was the unifying nature of space of how it brings people together the power of collaboration that it has and i think that speaks volume about this discipline in in particular and overall values that we have as a nation of always you know trying to bring people together so this resonated with me uh, very strongly and and in the end i w i just have a message for everybody who is listening in uh, on on this uh, you know conference that we are having all the kids who are listening to this message i i was sitting there with you i was sitting on the chairs that you are sitting on today and i had never thought i would reach here i would go to space but my message to you is if i can do this you can do this too and we have to make it work and we have to go forward from here one mission after another we'll have gaganyaan we'll have gaganyaan and thereafter bharti antrik station and we'll have a series of missions so i want you to dream i want you to think that you can do this and we will together make this happen and with this i will end this with the with the key message that i've had throughout the mission you know while going up while on orbit and while coming back bharat aaj bhi antrik se sare jahan se acha dikhta hai jai hind jai bharat